What's up everyone, Trey Thousand new T.O. with a brand new video. Today we're looking at the Nike Roche Run in the uh, Calypso colorway. Now these released this year, 2012, and this seems to be the more popular colorway. Uh, they, their retail was uh, $70, and uh, it's just a nice shoe. Very, very nice looking. And um, now, the thing about these, um, number one, the quality seems nice. Quality seems good. Uh, for seventy dollars, very clean looking shoe. Um, comfort, it's got nice cushion in the uh, in the shoe. It's I'll show you the insole. Now I know other people have made videos, so um, you probably already know a lot about this shoe already. But I'll tell you uh, now. I don't know if anybody, I haven't had the chance to watch all the videos, but I haven't noticed anyone um, touch on the fact that if you wear socks with these shoes, the socks will, the material uh, that lines the, uh, the tongue of the shoe will actually pull your sock backwards. So it'll feel like, you know, the, the sock is really being pulled up really tight on your, uh, on your toes. And that's uncomfortable. So I really think that this shoe was designed to be worn without socks. But, you know, I don't know how many of you really want to, you know, sweat and do all that stuff in these shoes and have no socks. So if you want my opinion, I think if you're going to wear socks with them, just get some low cut socks. Very, very thin. The thinnest you can find them and just wear them like that. Um, try to, like put some space with your uh, with your hands so you know you can get in there without it pulling back but all around comfortable shoe nice clean looking uh and this color is uh is very very nice i mean it's hard not to pick up a bunch of these colors but the only thing for me that's got me um on the fence with them is uh like i said the you know i'm probably gonna want to wear these during you know the the fall or with jeans and stuff like that so I'm probably not going to wear very, very uh, thin, low-cut socks, So, and I'm not going barefoot in these. And when you do wear slightly thicker socks, it definitely pulls back, so it's uncomfortable in that in that sense. But otherwise, if you wear them without socks, they're super comfortable, um, but, you know, to each their own. So, sizing on them, uh, whatever you wear in an Air Max 90, pick up in these. Whatever you wear in an Air Force One, go a half size up from that. Uh, they're very, very lightweight, comfortable. Just uh, whoever designed this shoe, I mean, you did a great job. I mean, it's simple, but uh, you know, it's it's just it's so clean. It's so it's very modern looking shoe. I just I, I like it a lot. I think whoever designed this shoe did a a really really nice job. And I mean, it's not like there's no crazy design to this. It's just very clean looking shoe and some nice nice colorways i've seen some of the other colorways the red and all that stuff and um even the like the solid black and um there's like a a, a black upper with a really like almost like a hot lava or hot pink uh, mental everything just very very nice so anyway um trying to think what else i could really tell you about these that's about it i'm going to show you guys what they look like on your feet with shorts, with jeans, and that's the uh, the next part of this video.
out everyone so you guys to see what they look like with shorts with jeans um if you guys have any questions concerns comments feel free to drop me a line as always check out defynewyork.com and d-e-f-y new york n-e-w-y-o-r-k dot com and check out osdlive.com osdlive.com o-s like sam d like david live l-i-v-e dot com and um also before i let you guys go i know some of you especially uh those that subscribe to my channel um i know there's not that many of you but there's a decent amount so um you may or may not you may have or may not have seen my uh my bring back the nike air video and you know the majority of the comments i'm getting are positive you guys want to see nike air in the back personally in my opinion i think they look uh the jordans look better with nike air on the back that is what we grew up we grew up on that i grew up on that i'm not a little kid you know um and that's what i grew up with is nike air on the back of the shoe a lot of people are saying well you know jordan's his own company now and you know jordan brand is a subsidiary so they're still under nike they're still using when they retro those jordan fours those jordan threes you know those are that's nike air technology in the shoe even on the bottom of the boxes it says nike air on it so you know um i wish they would go back to the early 90s i mean i'm sorry the the early 2000s late 90s when they would put nike air on the original colorways and on the the new colorways they could put the jumpman logo i would have no problem with that personally because then it shows like okay you know you paid you're paying respect to the original because nike and tinker hatfield designed that shoe michael jordan wore the shoe and you know but if they had made that shoe look super super ugly and it i, I don't even know if they made it look like uh you know a pair of playing kids or something nobody would have gave two shits that michael jordan wore that thing to win 20 championships but the design on them was sick and nike air was part of the design when they drew up that design for that shoe you know they thought out what nike air was going to look like or where they were going to place it how they were going to place it how big you know the plastics and all that stuff it was well thought out to take away the nike air and just put that jump in it looks very bare in the back and also uh if you check out osdlive.com chris vidal touched on some the new jordans look like the way the fakes used to look you know what i'm saying like the the when we early 2000s you used to see a pair of black cement jordan threes with a jumpman logo on the back like oh those are fake now the the real ones look like the way the fakes used to look and they smell like it the shape is like it they look like the old fakes and it's kind of scary you know what i'm saying but i think nike air i know we all want better quality you know and and i definitely agree with that we definitely want a better fitting shoe you know more comfort whatever but um i 110 percent agree with that but uh you know i also want to see nike air on the back of the shoe again you know you can have these originals you know what i'm saying it's not going to take away from the originals back in 99 and 2001 those retros with nike on the back did not take away from the originals and we see that all these years later and they were close to the originals so you know but um i just think everybody needs to we need we need to do a reality check these are sneakers and yes you know we don't we if you paid 400 for a shoe you don't want to see it go down to 100 dollars. but that's just not going to happen the demand for the product's too great it's not going to kill the value if anything it may make it go up because there's going to be differences so anyway um you know everyone's entitled to their opinion that's my opinion and um you know whether you agree with me or not that's fine uh but i definitely nike air on the back of shoes i love that so that's my thing i, I definitely uh i definitely support nike air on the back of the retro three through six i would love to see that again you know what i'm saying it's uh like i said i don't think it's going to take away from any ogs you know please don't you know everyone's scared oh it's going to take away from them. it's going to take away it's not going to take away from them it's not the molds change over the years it's going to be different 
you know, not the 94 threes are different than the 2001 threes. It's different shoes, you know what I'm saying? So it's, you can't really go like that. So anyway, with that said, um, you can check out that video if you haven't seen it. Just Google Nike Air or Jordans Bring Back or whatever. And, uh, but, you know, the Facebook page is getting a lot of good, uh, good feedback. And uh, like I said, everyone's entitled to their opinion. If you don't agree with me, I completely understand it's a free country and it's only sneakers. Remember that. At the end of the day, this is only sneakers. We are not curing cancer. We are not changing the world with this. This is Nike Air on the back of a shoe we love. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's where it starts and ends. It's not, this is not that serious of, a, of an issue. So anyway, with that said, you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to drop me a line. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.